Today we are going to study shell sort. We will understand its working with the help of an example. So let us start with shell sort. Shell sort is improved version of insertion sort. In our previous video, we have already seen how insertion sort will work. But in some cases, insertion sort outperforms according to the input given list of element. So, in order to cope up with the performance of insertion sort, we make use of modified insertion sort which is shell sort. It uses intervals of an element to sort them. An interval between element is gradually decreased so that at the end complete list will be considered as a one sequence of elements. Now shell sort's original sequence is n by 2 which is then reduced to n by 4 then followed by n by 8 unless and until it becomes n by n that is, is equal to 1. But there do exist various other sequences to sort them. We will first or origin we will here consider only original sequence to demonstrate its working. So let us start with an example of shell sort. Consider an array of six elements which is ranging from index number 0 to index number 5 with a given set of elements. Now here there are in total six elements that's why n is given as equal to as 6. Initial interval of shell sort is n by 2. So here that will be 6 by 2 which is, is equal to 3. So we will consider an element which is distance apart by 3 elements as a part of one sublist. Say for example in a given array an element at index 0 and an element at index number 3 are actually belonging to very first sublist. Similarly, element at index number 1 and element at index number 4, which are 3 elements apart, are considered as part of second sublist. And third sublist is comprising of element at number index number 2 and element at index number 5, which are again 3 elements apart. So here we are having 3 sublists that are getting generated, which are three elements apart which is nothing but interval of shell sort. We are going to sort these separate sublists individually. So 50 and 20 are part of one list. They will get sorted with the help of insertion sort. So 20 and 50 will be sorted with in an order of 20 followed by 50. So in place of 50, we are having actual element sorted as 20 and in place of 20 at index number 3, we are having 50. So here elements are getting sorted but in partial or sublist order. Similarly, 30 and 60 which are belonging 30 and 60 which are belonging to some second sub sublist are getting sorted again. But they are already in sorted order. So using insertion sort, their order won't change. 30 will be first, followed by 60 will be later. Third sublist is comprising of two elements, 40 and 10, which will be sorted by insertion sort. So they will get sorted so that 10 will come first and 40 will come later. So this is end of pass 1 where elements are sorted with an interval of n by 2 with the help of insertion sort. Next interval will be decremented by 2. That is new interval will be n by 4. Originally n is 6 so n by 4 will be 1.5 which is approximated to seal value 2. Now all the elements which are Two elements apart will be part of one list. So element at index 0, element at index 2, element at index 4 will be part of one sublist. If there would be an element of an index number 6 that if it were present, it would be the part of this particular sublist. But if it is not present, we have only sublist comprising of only three elements. Now second sublist will be comprising of element at 1, 
3 and 5 because they all are two elements apart. So we are having now only two sublists. Please note that number of sublists are getting decreased and each sublist number of elements are going to get increased. Now out of 10, out of 4 sublists, 20, 10 and 60 are going to get sorted with the help of insertion sort and the result will be 10, 20 and 60. Out of second sublist, elements are 30, 50 and 40 which is after applying insertion sort would be 30, 40 and 50 respectively. So we will have an array which will, which will look like this. Now again we have to decrement our interval. Next interval will be n by 8 which is 6 by 8 which will be again approximated to 1. Now in this particular case every element which is one element apart will be considered as a part of sublist. Now first element and second element are only one element apart so they are part of one sublist. First and second element are also one element apart, so they are also part of sublist. Likewise, each and every element is one step or one element apart from its previous one. So they all will be part of only one sublist. Here again we will apply insertion sort. So after performing insertion sort, our elements would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60 which is actually sorted array list. So basically shell sort uses insertion sort to sort sub array list. But does it help to reduce the number of steps or to reduce the complexity of an algorithm of original insertion sort? Let us take with the help of quickly an example that is same which is working for insertion sort. What will happen in an our original array first element is 50 so it will be first considered as sorted if my original array will look like this. So in this case we will first consider 50 as our sorted list. Now next we will take up 30 and try to insert 30 at this particular sorted list. So I need to shift 50 one step back and then insert 30 in its proper location. Now this is my sorted list, next element is 40, I need to again insert 40 in this particular sorted list. So between 30 and 40, 50 will be the correct place of 40. So I need to shift one step back element 50 and make new space so that 40 can be inserted. Again this is my sorted list 30, 40 and 50. Next element we will take as 20. Now to insert 20 in this particular given list we need to shift each and every element back so that 20 will be inserted in its correct position which is at the beginning of an array. So here 50 will be step one step back, 40 also will get shifted at one step back, 30 will also get shifted at one step back and the new element 20 will be inserted in a correct location. Now at this moment all these elements are sorted. Next element is 60. Now 60 should be inserted in this order list. So this is already sorted. 60 must get inserted at last location. So no shifting performed at this particular location. Directly 60 will be inserted in its correct location. Now think about this. This is 10. Which is must get inserted in the last lead sorted list. So in this sorted list we have to shift all n minus 1 elements one step back so the last element will take up its correct place. For that 60 will be shifted once, 50 will be shifted once, 6, 40, 30 and 20 will be likewise shifted one step back so that 10 can be inserted at this particular location. Alright, so in this particular case, an element which is small but which is very far from its correct position is quite apart from each other. In this case, insertion sort will perform in worst case or might take maximum number of steps. Now let us calculate how many shiftings we have done. So this is our first shift of 50 
and copying 30. This is second step. This is third step of shifting 50 and this is fourth step of copying 40. Similarly, 250 is fifth step. This is sixth step, seventh step, eighth step, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 14. In total, 14 shifts are actually performed to sort this 6 elements. Now let us go back and let us see how shell sort will actually work. Now in this shell sort, when we originally comparing 50 with distant element 20, only one swapping will be done. While comparing 30 with 60, no swapping will be done. While comparing 40 with 10, only one swapping will be done. So in order to sort this list with a sequence n by 2, only two swaps were performed. Now while we have uh, reduced our size, when we have reduced our size, we will consider 30, 20 with 10 and 60. So they must get swapped as 10, 20, 60. Only one swap is performed. 30 with 50 and 20. So this will be 20, 30 and 50. Here in total 3 swaps plus 1 swaps. Only 4 swaps will be performed. Now when we have reduced our size, all elements were part of only single sublist. Hold on. So there are only three swaps we have performed. Now uh, all these elements are part of only one sublist. So they have uh, sorted this way. 10 is its place. 20 and 30 is getting swapped. Only one swap. 40 is in its place. 50 and 60 are going to get swapped. So here in total how many swaps are there? Only two. So if I count out all these swaps we are having 3 plus 2 plus 2. That is, is equal to 7 swaps. But if I apply directly insertion sort in a given array, we are actually having 14 shifts or swaps. So number of swaps or shifting have been reduced drastically by half of original one. So we must say that uh, in some cases, shell sort is performing better than insertion sort, but not always. Insertion sort performs best when input is already sorted. So why we are using shell sort? Let us summarize. Insertion sort does not perform better when close elements are far apart. Say for example, 10 is the last element, uh, smallest element but it is actually present in very large index in our original problem. So in that case, my insertion sort won't work better. Or for example, 60 is my largest element and it is appearing as the first element in my list. So number of shifts that we need to perform might be more. So shell sort will help us to reduce the distance between these close elements. An element which is currently at its location with respect to the an element where it should be at current actual location. Musk will get reduced with the help of shell sort. So there will be less number of shiftings or swaps that will be performed. Now let us say what is in place sorting algorithm. An in place sorting algorithm is an algorithm which it transforms input with no auxiliary data structure. Or I must say only a small or temporary amount of space will be used as a, uh, performing or to sort that particular input list with some little extra storage is only required. So here in place sorting algorithm a which takes an input and produces an output in the same space without using the exact amount of doubled space is called as input in place sorting algorithm. So input is, all, uh, is usually overwritten by an output of an algorithm execute. So till now we have seen all the algorithms like bubble sort, selection sort, uh, insertion sort and heap sort all are in place sorting algorithm because whatever the input array is, is the output array which is stores sorted list or as an output. So in place algorithm 
uh, updates input sequence only through the replacement or swapping of algorithm. Second definition is comparison sort. Sorting algorithm which compares any two elements of given list is called as comparison based sorting. There do exist some sorting algorithm which do not compare but sorts your given input list is called as non-comparison based sorting algorithm. But these algorithms like merge sort, quick sort, bubble sort, shell sort, all these are comparison based sorting algorithm. They only read input lists through which they are comparing elements of the same list and they also produces final sorted list as a output. Third definition is stable sorting algorithm. Now what do we mean by stable sorting algorithm? An algorithm that puts an element of a list in a some certain order. Say for example my list contains a number which is repeated twice in a given list. Say for example element number 4 is repeated. It is present at location number 1 and it is also present at location number 7. But while sorting if their order will not get changed that means first element is appearing first and second element is taking a second position that means it is a stable sorting algorithm. They actually sort repeated elements in the same order that they appear in the input. So when sorting some kind of data, only part of the data is examined, it is determined by sort order by stable sorting algorithm. Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Munira Topia signing out.